I'm Steve for Lizard with Cars, and today I'm at Ames Ford Performance. Steve Saline is here. He's brought his new supercar. They're also having a huge car show. It's not just Ford powered. Anyone can bring anything they want and show it on display. So let's check out the new Saline, and let's also check out what people brought here today. And the last time I think I was in Iowa, I was actually raced the Mustang and the truck downtown at the Rouen Grand Prix. So, and we won both races, so it's always had a special place in my heart. And uh, we're, we're really glad we're back in here. But again, thank the show promoters, Stang Invasion, and of course, Ames Ford. We wouldn't have been here without you. So thank you very much. Humble, down-to-earth guys, and a uh, ton of fun to sell their products. So we're, we're super proud to be the number one retailer in the country. And uh, we didn't know about the free car, so that was a shocker. But... Uh, uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I did have the pleasure of uh, spending some time with uh, Steve in Detroit last year. He took me out on the track in a 800 horsepower black label and uh, scared the shit out of me. But uh, actually, no, I, I felt very, very comfortable uh, in the car with Steve. But uh, yeah, I had to order six more cars before we would stop going around. I said, okay, all right. All right. But uh, just a big thank you to everyone for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Um, we're proud to help promote uh, the performance, uh, Mustangs, Mustangs Unstable Club here in Iowa. And uh, really proud to have you guys here and appreciate you being here. So, you know, we sell a lot of Celine Mustangs, but we sell a ton of Celine pickup trucks too. And that's been a real hot, hot item. And everyone loves their trucks nowadays. So, uh, but I have one other special announcement right now. Are you ready for this, Steve? Today is my wife's birthday. Uh, and she's 23 today or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so uh, if you all could join me in singing happy birthday to Deb, I'd really like that. A one and a two and a three. Happy birthday. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. So, uh, I said, Deb, what do you want to do for your birthday? And she said, oh, hell, let's invite Steve Sling over and have four or 500 people in. So here we are. Here's the new Saline S1, also called the Saline One. These cars were unveiled in 2017 and the first car developed entirely by Saline since the S7. This car is powered by a 2.5 liter EcoBoost engine, making 450 horsepower and 350 foot-pounds of torque. The transmission is a six-speed manual. This car uses 20-inch wheels with 255-30ZR20 tires in the front and 335-25ZR20 tires in the rear. The brake rotors are 15 inches in diameter all the way around. Saline claims the top speed of this car is 180 miles per hour. And here we have the spec race car of that same car. 20 of these cars were created to race in the series in 2019 and 2020. These cars feature an aluminum chassis, carbon fiber bodywork, again a four cylinder GM 2.2 liter turbo engine rated at 450 horsepower. The brakes are 15 inches in diameter on the front and 14 inches in the rear. These are serious track cars and are of course not street legal and they were all built to FIA safety standards so these should be able to compete anywhere in the world. Dealership has a demo Mach E. I'm sure a lot of people have seen these on the road already. This is the E4X version. But what's really cool is they actually have a Ford Lightning here. I have not seen one of these in person yet. It's kind of strange with those OPEC lenses there. You see the lights flashing in the camera, but in person, I can't even tell that that light is on. Here's the frunk. The bed of this truck is pretty typical, except that we do have power connections over here. So you can use your truck as a generator. On this side, we have normal 15 amp outlets here another set and under this one we have a 30 amp 240 volt outlet that's pretty cool it would be really neat to see a slide-in camper put in one of these and you can power your entire camper hooking it up to the generator connection of your truck
Then when you get to your campground, plug into the shore power there, recharge your truck, head out for a few more miles the next day. This truck does come with 22 inch wheels. The brakes look tiny inside of them. On the inside, looks like we had 270 miles on this one already. State of charge is 100%. In the center of the truck is a gigantic screen where you control your HVAC and infotainment center. On the passenger side, they actually give you a 20 amp outlet this time, as well as your normal 12 volt cigarette adapter. They're built in trailer controls. Looks like someone left the keys in here. Let's start it up. We can see the screen now that you would see when you're driving. We also get a good view of the infotainment center over here now. Already, right off the bat, I see something I really like, an old Ford Econoline pickup truck. This is, of course, a cab over design. This is the competition to Chevrolet's Corvair trucks. This one still holds water. A modified Pantera. You're on hard? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Quite driving, so it doesn't Here we have a retractable hardtop Fairlane. Has a Y block. Just as in the Thunderbird videos that I've shown you guys, this little area in the trunk is all that you have for storage. The rest of this is all used for storage of the top when it's down. An old Cobra 2, you don't see those very often anymore. Another Mustang 2 next to it. 1955 Pontiac with air conditioning. A couple more Mustang 2s. Mustang 2 convertible. The four door Ford LTD seventy eight F one fifty. Here we go, this is a 64 and a half Ford Mustang, which means that it should have a generator, but looks like someone's upgraded this one with an alternator. Also says it's a 289. You can see this is actually a U-code car, so this would have had a six cylinder engine originally. That explains why it has a newer engine than it should. Here's a beautiful Shelby GT500. Sure wouldn't be fun to work on this engine. Look at the distance there between the shock towers. Couple more Mustang twos.
Here we got a 57 Chevy sandwich between two Super Bs. It's a great looking car. Paint on the Chevrolet. Really nice color too. The Super B has a 440 in it. This Mustang's made to look like a green version of the Eleanor's. Here's an entire row of Salines that they have parked out here in front. I think these Fox body Salines had a lot of style to them. They have a good selection of Saline trucks here. The short bed is pretty cool. Well, I've had a great day here. I wanted to thank Iowa Mustangs Unstabled and Ames Ford for putting on the event. I'll see you next time.